Hello! In this video, I want to show you how to uh, enter data into StatKey in order to uh, generate Pearson's coefficient r. So this is uh, exercise 177 from chapter 2, section 5. And for your uh, Wiley Plus homework, uh, it'll state use StatKey or other technology. I'm going to show using StatKey to find the correlation between these two data sets. So if you want to follow along with me with your computer, I suggest you open up StatKey. You could just Google StatKey and it'll come up and then write down this data set. All right, so pause your video because I'm going to go over to StatKey right now. Okay, so uh, once you're in StatKey, you have all this option. We are looking at a bivariate data set. We've got X and Y and they are both quantitative variables. So going back to stat key, we're still in the descriptive statistics chapter, and we're looking at two quantitative variables. So I'm going to click on the two quantitative variables, and we have a, a given uh, scatter plot. The stat key already has a bunch of preloaded scatter plots right here, and I don't want to use any of these. I want to edit the data and enter that data set on the homework problem. I'm going to edit. It has a bunch of information. I'm going to highlight all of this and delete. Uh, but before I delete, notice each of the data points are separated by a comma. So that's how we're going to lay out our data points. So I'm going to highlight, delete all the information, and I don't need a data a header row for the data to explain what it is. I'm going to click the check there, and then I'm going to start typing in the data. My first data point x was 15 and y was 570. Second data point was x was 20, y was 518. And as I type this out, notice uh, when you enter this in stat key, you're going to enter the x variable or the horizontal variable or the explanatory, explanatory variable first, and then put a comma followed by the response variable or the y variable. All right, so I have my data points entered, and always good uh, uh, suggestion, good form to double check your data. Most of the errors in these types of problems come from just not entering your data correctly. So I'm gonna do a very quick check. All right, my data looks good. All right, I've got the uh, data entered, my bivariate data. I'm gonna click on, okay. All right, so we've got the data set given right here. And on the right hand side, I've got the mean for X and Y, standard deviation for both. And this problem, we were look for a Pearson's correlation co uh, coefficient, R, which is minus 0.934, which does match up with the solution right here. Uh, we don't need it for this problem. I'll go through this on a later problem with another video but you are gonna to have to also use the regression line in 